So we've taken your project. The road upgrade, extra lanes, on and off ramp lengthening. We factored in all those improvements. So starting with current flow during peak, then during construction, some problems. Of course. And then when it opens. Oh, that's brilliant. Amazing. And with the machine learning, we can keep it going. Year two, year three, year four. Wait, wait, what's going on? What happened? Where'd the green go? Why does the traffic get worse? Have you heard of the Jevons paradox? I'm hoping they're a death metal band. It basically states that the better you make something like a road, the more people will use it. Isn't that a good thing? No, it means you spend a lot of money now for a very short-term benefit. So there is some benefit? Oh, sure. Average travel times crossing the city will be cut by two and a half minutes. Or a little less. Call it two. Really? And that lasts for 14, 15 months. Then declines. Uh, no, stays flat. Then declines. Well, for $300 billion, I guess we were hoping for something a little more dramatic. Two and a half minutes. Call it two. You don't look happy. The Tasmanians do not need nor want a huge new stadium. I can't believe the ingratitude of some people. They didn't ask for one. They don't know what they want. They live there. It's not the point. We need to start planning for one. Why? Failure to plan is a plan for failure. Give me the book. No. Rhonda, it doesn't make sense. All right, so there are a few problems. Oh, uh, lack of population, too few events, distance, fixed costs, where to put it. But uh, those negatives are far outweighed by the positives. Oh. I don't have any. So let's go through the updated system. Mm. If someone's injured, what do you do? Call an ambulance? Nope. Check if they're breathing? First things first, you create and file an incident report. Oh, OK. So just log on to the page here. You've got date of incident, location of incident, type of incident. There's a drop-down menu for that. Death, serious injury, disease. What's contagion? Just pick one. Serious injury. Perfect. Now, hit submit. Job done. And what about the injured person? What about them? Like if they needed medical assistance. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. OK. Create a new file. Uh, agency initially contacted. Paramedics. Via. Triple zero. Can uh, I check if they're breathing? Uh, not yet, darling. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've just pulled up your details. Now, this relates to a vending machine fee. Yes, it's a monthly payment, six ninety nine. We don't actually handle billing inquiries. You're the accounts department. Payments are handled by a financial services team. Well, can you put me through to them? They're actually a separate organisation, nothing to do with us. It's your vending machines. We lease them. But you install them. Third party installer. But you invoice. We outsource invoicing services as well. Makes it a lot more streamlined. Not for me. This is ridiculous. I'm sensing you'd like to speak with a complaints resolution officer. Yes, put me through. It's actually a separate organisation. I could give you a number. So that's it? No, there's one more thing. Yep. Would you mind staying on the line for a short customer satisfaction survey? Rhonda's not coming? Uh, yeah, she's not talking to you. Still, ever, apparently. Mind you, it's brought you some time to get your head around what a great scheme this is. Well, I had a good think about it last night. Great, I'll let I'm her know. I'm doubling down. I think it's a really bad idea. Have you got a death wish? No. This is an infrastructure future fund. It's something that sounds good. Exactly. It's like a dream, an aspiration. Then where are we disagreeing? On this. We were going to take money from people in order to build infrastructure, but instead we're going to hang on to it for 20 years in order to build infrastructure. Again, I don't see where we're disagreeing. Why don't we spend it now? then you won't have a future fund. You've blown it. Jim, Tony, we're talking a major expansion here. Staff, budgets, new board, new building. Sky's the limit. I thought the NBA was set up to stop this sort of thing. What sort of thing? Unfounded ideas. Say somebody dreams up, I don't know, a water pipeline from Darwin to Melbourne. Surely our job is to ask questions. Is that something? No. Just asking questions. Could it be something? No, 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 no more questions. We're supposed to be the gatekeepers. Keep out the crazy. What's crazy about a future fund? You are living in the present, Tony. We are thinking about the future. But thinking about the present fixes the future. No, it doesn't. When we get to the future, you're still in the past. What? Let's start with some practical do's and don'ts. What's something that you might say casually that could make another person feel uncomfortable? I like John Legend. Like... Where are you from? Perfect example. Of a do or a don't? It's a don't. Because I asked Jonathan where he's from. Oh, where is he from? You can't ask that. Perth. It relates more to where are you from culturally. East Perth. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, you would have lived experience of this. What do you say when people ask, where are you from? Infrastructure. Originally, Ash. Oh, education. Let's keep drilling down on this. 
respectfully. Now look I at said, the map. Yeah. Look at the map. So how can you say no to this? I'm saying that from here to here, a train would work. From there to there, a train would work. From there to there. But not from there to there to there. But to look at the connectivity from Brisbane. All oh, It's what? bringing Australia together. It's building the nation. Work that's there. Japan. Work there. That's it's work Spain. there. And look at it. But what? That's an artist's impression, Jim. Oh. And that, that doesn't say anything about all the problems See, that we've got to resolve. Don't let the problem stand in the way, because you know where every problem is? There's a solution right around the corner. I'm getting an ice cream headache. Even if we resolved all the engineering and environmental problems, the distances are simply too great. Oh, you've got to give me something. Look at it, the silver emu. It's so close, I can hear it. That's a steam train, Jim. Jim, are you all right? There must be something we can announce. Yeah, but we can't announce a feasibility study. Are you sure? Or a scoping study. D what's that? It's the same thing, only thicker with graphs and diagrams. That sounds good. Yeah, but it's only going to tell us what we already know. A very fast train simply won't work. We won't know that until the report's finished. We know that now. Not officially. And they don't know that we know. Who's they? The naysayers! But they know we know they know we know. What? I can we just move this thing forward? If you opened your mouth, I Until might. Until the election. Oh, sorry. Oh. I get it. All right. Yes. I haven't said anything Just yet. Just supportive. We announced that we're going to set up an authority. Authority. A federal high-speed rail authority. Yes. The FHSR. The FHSR. What do they do? Well, what we're doing, but over a longer time frame. And they'll be within yours. No, within yours. Oh, yeah. I can supply some staff. They won't yeah. last long, but it'll be a standalone authority. Yeah. And they do a targeted study. Brilliant. They, they have to look yeah. at uh, acquiring the pieces of land that will secure the rail corridor. Yeah. But, but over a long time frame, so the virtually meaningless. The scheme was first announced six years six. ago. My gov space. And? There were some initial implementation issues. Meaning? The trial site crashed. And then some ongoing operational deficiencies. Meaning? It kept crashing. And finally, some capacity and capability constraints. It was taken offline for upgrades. They didn't work, so it was relaunched as SmartGov. And? It worked, provided not too many people were using it. What happened if they did? It crashed. So they replaced the software. They replaced the hardware. Well, they should have replaced the minister. They replaced the minister and rebranded the scheme as SmartHerGov. And? It stopped crashing. That's good. It just didn't work again, the multiple user issue. So a year later, it was rebranded as GovPorter. Just out of interest, how many more slides are there? 12. Plus eight. And two after that. Your specialists in transport infrastructure? No, more general consultants. Right, but in terms of specific expertise. Well, the government seem very happy with the quality of our work. On transport? On anything they need looking into. Right. Now, I have asked some of our quants to sit in, if sure. that's OK. No, yeah. And John, our chief technical officer. Sounds good. After you, straight in here. Thank you. All right. Um, I'll... Uh... This is a blue one for anyone in particular. Uh, no, no. Just... Uh... Oh, wow. Coffee OK? Oh, it's fantastic. All right, let's get down to it. What can we do for you? You've got all the background material? I think so. Data sets, instruction requirements, geotechnical specs? A lot to get through. A lot, yeah. So once you've waded through all that, um, we would value your independent assessment of the project's viability. In the form of? An independent assessment of the project and the viability. Sure, but, you know, could you give us some sort of broader compass direction? Well, I wouldn't want to presuppose. Suppose you did, just to make this number crunching, you know, put it into some sort of context. Well, I guess it's no secret uh, that, you know, if it came down to a 50-50, the government's keen to move forward. But it's all about the independent assessment right now. Yeah, that's the... Actually, Ken, if it's OK, we might make a start. Yes, it's a lot to get on with. Yeah, I just want to clarify a few things. I'll brief them later. OK, is there anything else you want to hear? No, I think you've made our task very clear. John, any questions? Not now. Tony, your very own Ewan. Oh, very citizen-centric. So seriously, you're supportive now? Yeah, but I'm going to suggest we start with a trial. Done. I'm on board. OK. OK? Yep, sure. All right, sorry we're late. Oh, Minister. Uh, do you mind if I FaceTime this? No, not at all. No, it's just no. there's a couple of Cabinet colleagues who want to hear the good news. Yep. Uh, other way round, other Minister. Way. Will you...? Uh, let me begin by saying, on reflection, I, I think we should proceed. Ah, finally. 
That's great, Tony. I don't want to be a Luddite. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Luddite? The Luddites were a secret oh, oath-based oh. organisation. But I think we should start with a large-scale trial first, like a, like a pilot. Excellent. I'm on board. <laughs> Minister. And I'm suggesting we use Canberra. You know, opt in everybody. Citizens, public servants, staffers, MPs, ministers, cabinet ministers. You know, get all their information. Travel expenses, credit cards, phone records. Track every meeting, every arrival, departure, dinner, free event. Now, make it easy on you guys. You meet with the lobbies, whoosh, everything's logged immediately. On a database, forever. I mean, get this card to tell us everything we need to know. Who's on board? I can't hear anything. Yeah, I've got nothing either.